Hey guys, what's up? It's Jared here for like a peer drop. I'm gonna be showing you how to use QBasic. This is gonna be a series. And the first thing we're gonna start off with is remark or known as rem and you're gonna hit you're gonna type in rem, sorry, and I'm gonna put P1 for program one and intro for intro deduction. Now the next thing is you're gonna put CLS for clear screen and that is to not have the screen repeat and repeat over and over again when we run it. All right, so next up is print. Now print obviously tells the program that it's going to be printing text and what it's gonna be doing with printing text is you can't just print like hello there. You have to put quotations around what you want it to print. So I'm gonna put hi and like I said, you had to have quotations around it. And when you run it, it'll say hi. Alright, so simple enough, right? And you can always have it say, you know, just that kind of stuff. A question mark is another way for doing print. So I am excited to be using QBasic. Like I said, to use QBasic. Now, again, quotations around that, and once you run it, I'm excited to use QBasic, and you see it automatically changed it to print for you. Now, the next thing that I'm going to run over is input statements. Now, with input statements, you're going to ask a user what it is. So, this is how old are you, or what is your age? And you can use this in different variables in a program, such as can you go to a party or, you know, whatever. And it gets a lot complicated, a lot more complicated as you go on. But the reason I put that percent sign there is if someone were to enter like 1.4 or 1.3, just to be funny, it's going to just route it to the nearest whole number. So the reason I'm putting an apostrophe is to also use rem basically. And this is just going to skip over with the statement. So to calculate how long someone has to retire, you put print in his age, or it's 65 minus the age uh, percent. And whatever the user types in, say like 10 or whatever, it's going to subtract 65 minus 10. So in this case, I'm going to enter 25. And you're going to get 40 years till you can retire. Now you can obviously tell it to put 40 years till retirement or whatever. A little simple thing that you can do is put like print. And you can do math formulas on there. Obviously you can't have it do like the Pythagorean theorem for you. But you can do like multiplication that. You can make a program for the Pythagorean theorem though if you really wanted to. So that's like my math equation there. You're just gonna do that. And then you do have to run through everything unless you put CLS after a certain statement or you remark the statement. Now that is all I'm going to show you guys for today. I will see you on Friday for some little more introduction to QBasic. We'll get into some modules.